Welcome back. Not only is the 93rd Major League Baseball All-Star Game being held in Seattle next week, but so too is the MLB Draft, and a pair of buddies from West Lynn may hear their names called in night number one. Yeah, Fox 12's Nick Krupke caught up with Jesuits Noble Meyer last week, mm -hmm. and now it's Paul Wilson from Lake Ridge in our high school spotlight. It's a big relief for me to uh, be done with high school and be able to move on to the next stage of my baseball career and my life. Baseball is life for class of 2023 Lake Ridge high grad Paul Wilson. The high school All-American committed to Oregon State as a freshman. But Paul's live arm has him slotted to likely be a day one pick in the Major League Baseball draft. You know, nobody really cares what, like, what round you get drafted in. Like, if you get to the big leagues, it's like... It's all a process and all, all about the future and not about the past when you're in the big leagues. Wilson is a lefty, racked up 108 strikeouts in 49 innings with an earned run average of less than one during his senior season with the Pacers. It all comes natural, like nothing has been taught to me in a different way. Clocked at 93 miles per hour on the radar with a sweeping slider and vicious changeup. The six foot three, 18 year old was born to rack up K's and rake at the plate. My dad tried to get me to hit left-handed when I was younger, but I always liked the, the right side. Paul's dad, Trevor Wilson, was drafted in 1985. He's had a big impact on me uh, with my baseball career and my life. The Oregon City high grad played in the bigs over eight seasons from 1988 to 98 with the Giants and finally with the Angels. The former minor league manager then coached Paul and the neighborhood kids up until high school. He's taught me everything I know and I'm very grateful to have him as my father and as my coach. Paul has competed with and against some of the best in the nation like his best friend since the fourth grade and next door neighbor. New Jesuit high graduate Noble Meyer, who is projected to be a top 10 to 15 pick. It's been been a very, very fun time with with Noble and uh, getting to compete against each other for uh, for basically half of our lives and uh, hope they compete for the rest of our lives and in our baseball careers. What's funny is we don't really ever talk about it. We just kind of talk about what we always have, like. He loves to talk about fishing and WWE and just little things like that. When you guys do talk about potential being drafted yeah. at the same time, mm -hmm. what's that like? It's a surreal moment because it's something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time since, like, uh, since we've known about, like, there's a potential of, of us doing this and, like, getting drafted and very high. So it's a, very, it's a very surreal moment of, like, this is going to actually happen. While Noble will attend the draft in Seattle, Wilson will be home with family, at least until Tuesday's 93rd Midsummer Classic. I think they're going to put my name on the back of my jersey, and I'm going to be in the, the AL dugout with Dusty and all the American League guys, and it's going to be a good time. Wilson's dad played for Dusty Baker in the late 1980s. The hunting buddies are shooting back to the future. It's the American League's all-star manager from the Houston Astros asked Paul to be his bad boy. I feel like it's just a part of my journey. Like, uh, having the opportunity to be drafted and signed to a team and then go be a bat boy for the all-star game, I think it could be first time in history. No doubt about that. Good luck to Mr. Wilson and his buddy Noble Meyer and both being first day picks in the draft on July 9th in Seattle. In Lake Us We Go at Lake Ridge High, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon. Nick will begin reporting from the MLB draft and the All-Star festivities in the Emerald City next Sunday night. You can watch the 93rd MLB All-Star game on Tuesday, July 11th, right here on Fox 12.